This is 60 Second Civics from the Center for Civic Education. I'm Mark Gage. The revolutionary intellectual and pamphleteer Thomas Paine identified at least one of the problems with linking the right to vote to property ownership, which persisted in the original 13 states until 1888. Paine wrote, You require that a man shall have $60 worth of property, or he shall not vote. Very well, take an illustration. Here is a man who today owns a jackass, and the jackass is worth $60. Today, the man is a voter and goes to the polls and deposits his vote. Tomorrow, the jackass dies. The next day, the man comes to vote without his jackass, and he cannot vote at all. Tell me, which was the voter, the man or the jackass? Early in the 1800s, Americans became more democratic and less aristocratic in their thinking. For example, American writer James Fenimore Cooper, author of The Last of the Mohicans, argued, Every man who has wants, feelings, affections, and character has a stake in society. It followed that a lack of property should not be a barrier to voting. Thank you for listening to today's episode, 60 Second Civics, where civic education only takes a minute.